video we're gonna go over how to polish a polished aluminum rim not a restoration but really to enhance the shine and polish out remove oxidation so first we're gonna go over the different types of rims so and this is what we're gonna find 90% of the time this is a regular clear coated rims that can be washed with the wheel brightener that we use regularly use and it doesn't need to be polished or anything now this is a chrome rim, it can look like a regular clear coated rim, but this is an actual coated um, chrome. If, if there are oxidational rims like this, we can also polish them up. This is a polished aluminum rim, and this is what we're going to be working on today. Uh, different from the regular chrome, chrome wheels and the clear coated ones, this is actually on metal. There's no paint, no clear coat on top. So that's why when you use a, any type of wheel cleaner, it might stain it through because there's no paint or anything. And to acquire the shine, it's just uh, by polishing it out. That's what brings out the shine. That's why it's called polished aluminum. Now, just as a tip, we never use wheel brightener on a polished aluminum rim. We use them all clear coated, all the other types, but not on polished aluminum. This is an example of what happens when you spray that wheel cleaner uh, that's not made for a polished aluminum rim. So finally, these are the products we're gonna be using to polish out and kind of lightly restore the polished aluminum. We have steel wools, clean rags, the polish, you know, the actual polisher and the ball to use it to polish them. And here you also find a wheel cleaner. It's a polished aluminum wheel cleaner that we have in the bag. Uh, that Those are the types of wheel cleaner that you want to use in a polished aluminum. But it's rare to find these type of rooms. So first we start polishing out the rims with the steel wool. Uh, we grab a water uh, bucket with water and soap. And we just start rubbing the steel wool uh, on the rims, on the polished aluminum. And you're going to notice it's going to start turning black. That's when you see that the oxidation is coming off and it's actually working. So all we do is we rub through all the crevices uh, equally, uh, everything, and then we dry off with microfiber tile. And so that's always the first step. And then we go ahead and do the polish. Again, we do. We also have, as I saw at the beginning, two types of steel wool. I'm using the more abrasive one, which is the double zero steel wool, but we also have the triple zero steel wool, which is not as abrasive. Now, after that's done, uh, and you have water and soap in the room, you definitely want to clear it off really good with microfiber towel. And then we go to the next step. We get the polisher ball, attach it to the drill and put some product in it and start um, go full speed on the drill and then start polishing it out all the crevices. So every now and then when we're polishing it, you don't want to let the product dry on the polished aluminum. So you can just grab the green microfiber towel and dry it up the excess product and put some more product in the pad until everything's shiny. You can see already how the bottom part already came out really shiny with the polishing. It means that we did polish well with the steel wool and the final process doesn't take much of polishing work. Mm -hmm. 
Now I switch to the tip. Uh, we also have the tipping polishing one that you can use. And last but not least, we can finalize to get all the tips and the crevices of, of the rim with simply putting the chrome polishing on the rag and just wiping it down with your finger between the crevices. That's it really helps see the to get all the the black stuff out. And finally, we're just applying a little sealant to protect to protect the rim, and then we wipe it off with the microfiber towel, and that will be ready. Last step is what we're going to be doing is the cleanup. You can use the same uh, soap water that you had to use with the steel wool, the same bucket, and just clean it up all that dirty, all those dirty pads.